Hey everybody. <clears throat> uh, I played a game against um, 3Q Bot that I thought had some uh, good things to look at. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. I'm the Blackstones. 3Q. And as you all know, I'm supposed to win this. So it's not about, oh, who's going to win, but rather, what's the thinking? Of course, the point is, some of you would love to play at a 3Q level. Well, here's how we do that. I'm the Blackstones. Stabilize my group. Stabilize. Okay. Question one. Is that top out of control? Is it so big I need to do something? Well, I would ask the question, can he take the whole thing in one move? No. There's two entry points, two places to uh, invade, so no. And it's very early in the game, just next corner. Lots of corners to take. I take this one. Place here, which is not a corner move. Uh, so I do the corner move. And there's a few ways. We could also go this way. This is fine, too. Okay, we all know this Joseki. And this is the first point that I might do something different than you. So I look ahead real quick at the normal Joseki. And I notice that I have a small, strong group right next to a small, strong group. Complete waste of time. I can't grow it very well. Stable right next to stable. It's a waste of time, seems to me. So I go the other way. And some of you might not know that other Giuseppe. I go the other way and cut. Now, he didn't follow Giuseppe, but we're going to look at Giuseppe to see how it should go. Um, he's, he's about to have double Atari. I, I'm about to give him double Atari. He saves. I capture the stone. He gets the corner. So in both cases, he gets the corner. The only question is, where's my Panuki going to be? Now, the normal way is normal for a reason. There's Aji left behind. This way, virtually no Aji in the corner. But now, let's look at my A group. Low and strong, exactly where I would like a low and strong group. Now we look at the bottom. I'm alive in Sente, right next to a lonely white stone. And I would probably continue here. Because if I don't, he has Sente against me. Yeah, I'll live in everything, but he's going to get healthy too. So I would play this to keep me healthy, and he has to get healthy on his own time. But that's not what White did. But you see why I went in that, this direction. While we're here, let's ask one other question. Is this an actual mistake? Oh, let's get to the actual. Boom, 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 boom. If I were to play this Giuseppe, how bad is it for me? I would say it's near 100%. Yeah, things are a bit over-concentrated on the left, but as long as I don't play again on the left, any loss is going to be quite small. And I have moves like this, threatening to kill his corner, and then out easily. So it's not like you got anything particularly big. There's, there's Aji here. That's beauty of this Joseki. I also have this move, which I wouldn't take in this case, followed with this move. This is Sente to kill the corner. He needs to do something. Let's put it here. And we can see that I'm growing something on the left. Well, I don't think it's worthwhile in this case, so I wouldn't do it. I would do the bottom instead. Okay, that's some details about why I went this way. I didn't need to go this way. But I thought it was a good example. It's it's my style, and it's a good example for you to see why someone might go in that direction. 
Okay, so he does this Atari instead, allowing me the double Atari. Okay, we're all caught up. We're back on the game. He saves. Thought, you know, instead of capturing, I have one more Atari. Seems useful. Now there's another Atari. I don't see that as particularly useful. So I just capture. Maybe it is. This, I could look at the next Atari. But I didn't. Now we look at the bottom. And he's alive there. He's slightly over-concentrated. Me on the left. Oh, looking nice. I have height. I have a wide area. Okay, onward. He plays here. Let's look at what I don't want. I have a very low, flat situation on the left. He gets a big wall with a dynamic center. I don't want this. So instead, I break what he's doing. It, he can't get that anymore. On top of which, I now have access. See how close I am to my strong group now or to my group? So I now have access. He can't get his big wall where he wants it. And I've created access to his group. So big plus for me. He gets out. And now... Here's something might not cross your mind. If I do nothing, my A group, not necessarily alive. There's a peep in there. I'm not in the corner yet. This is not a strong group. Let's look at my B group. We'll start with white coming out. Okay, That's not an I. He just made that a false eye. Let's look at this one. I play here, taking its reverse sente. Let's say he keeps his eye. Starting to look like one eye. Now, yeah, he can't kill me. But things are, are going to look different in 50 moves. It's not going to look this way. I'm seeing potential trouble. Right now, not trouble. On either group, really. But put them together and add 50, 100 moves, things could get bad. So now's the time I connect under. And it does happen to be a regular pattern. Uh, and the, the last part of the pattern is here for black. Uh, let me state that again. White does the shoulder hit. There's a pattern. Follow it all the time. Come up. Break it. Come under. He's supposed to do some defense, normally speaking, and I finish the shape. On the left, it's not particularly low or flat. It's nice, robust-like, and white also is safe into the center. So that's the normal. What he did is, I want to break you. Well, that's a 3Q talking, not a very good move. He's not strong enough to start a fight, and that's a cut. I'm not about to connect under by any stretch. Talk about a pitifully low crawling group. But I do have the right to fight here because I can live. He can't. Cut. A big fight. Do I have the right to fight? Yeah, he's got two weak groups. I have virtually no weak groups at this point. They might become weak in the future, or at least the bottom left one might. Get out. I'm dead in a moment. Get out. I'm not dead in a moment. He can't surround me with any strength at all. Good time to kill the stones. Kill the cutting stones. That's going to make me alive. All my groups are strong. Get out. Get out. I could Atari here. I just got out. So I could walk away now. And he can't surround my A group. 
and he can't live with his B group. But he's in the fight. His Hane at B, Sente, I'm sorry, at C, Sente. The next one, Sente. There's a lot he can do here. He can't win the fight, but he can get forcing moves in. So that means I'm not done yet. So I do the Atari, which very much bothers this group. And now, check out my thinking here. Now, I'm not trying to say my thinking is that I've come up with the right move. The whole point of these videos are how to think. You might use my same thinking and come to a different conclusion. Great. That's, I hope that's true. Okay. So let's say I play away, finish this up here. That's kind of an unfinished corner. He says Atari. And now we see that I have three liberties. Or rather, he his group, I'll mark it. His A group has three liberties. Well, what happens if he starts the fight? We can imagine a fight here where all of a sudden these moves start becoming important to the fight on the right and I'm not prepared because he has three liberties. This is really dangerous for me. So it's like he has counterplay here. Not great, nothing that works right now, but in the future I have a weakness that he can make use of where I can't fight back well. So that's why I captured the stones. I don't now, I don't care what happens on the right, I can fight full force. He can't fight back, he can't do this, he can't do that. I'm gonna do just fine. Now, now I'm done. Professional walks in the room. What's this guy thinking? Isn't he an idiot? Doesn't he know he can walk away? Well, maybe I can. Who knows what he would say? As long as you understand my thinking, I'm now prepared for the future. Okay, white to play. White does not like me coming in here. We know this, right? Atari here, mm, stop me from coming under. See that all these things I can do. He doesn't like any of this. So he stops that. I get Sente. Where to? Corner. What about here? Yeah, I could play there. Would I prefer side or corner? I prefer corner. Thank you very much. Also, we don't, I don't know what to expect on top. That's a big white area, and this move prepares me to come in. He comes up. Now, as we look at the entirety of area one and area two, there's kind of like, two segments there uh starting to look like white's going to do something there like he's ready to take it it's not his yet but he's ready nothing else is that big that's a really big area he's about to take so i want to do something about that what shall i do well option one just come in yeah this may well be the best move doesn't it scare you a little bit? It's like, let's say he, I'm just going to do some basic moves, not the right moves, just so we can see the picture. He stops me from going to the left, I go to the right. He stops me from going to the right, I run out to white, not to black. That scares me. This is a, I don't like, this is not boating well. We're not saying I can't live. We're not saying I won't live. We're saying it's difficult. We don't want to do difficult things. One normal thing we do when we don't feel comfortable with a, just a gote placement is a free move. It's free because it's still black's move. How can you say it's still black's move? Because we know white's going to respond. And black is completely not committed to the stone. So if white plays here, well, I can play anything I want. I can give up the stone. It's just an asking move. I got a free move. 
Here's another free move. White doesn't want me to just run over him here. He's going to do something. So I would start taking free moves. That's a regular practice in invasions. Uh, well, I have another free move here that I prefer. It's much more open. It's this one. I'm threatening to connect under. I'd be satisfied if he takes that part and I just connect under. What's the problem? Easy. It all happened very easily. He doesn't like that. He threatens to live in my corner. At this moment, that corner is my points. It is no longer my points. I have to play to take it. Okay. We have the A group and its health, and we have area one and who it belongs to. Q players have a hard time separating these two issues. They say, oh, my corner, when it may not even be their corner. They're not looking at their groups versus their areas. Is my A group in danger now? By no means. I can get out at B easily or live with C or run to D. So many options. My health is not in question. Aerial one is in question. Well, I'm far more concerned with the health of my E group than the points in area one. So we defend it. Hopefully that made sense. There's some key things there. Boom, boom. Standard stuff. I don't care about that single stone as we talked already. So this attire is very big. Come on over, very big. Trying to get out. Make if it's not alive, it's gonna be alive. Not yet sure about life. I like getting this in. I like getting that in. I'm alive now. But this move makes me feel better about my life. And I would love to come in the corner since he's cut here at A. He doesn't want me coming in. The, it would be for free. I come in the corner. He has to defend. I remove his whole corner and send it. Can't do that. Okay. So Black did wonderfully. Okay, where to? How's my A group? Perfectly fine. Is area one the biggest thing on the board? No. Area two looks bigger. Area three looks bigger. Area four is very small. I can come in in many directions. Seems to be four big areas. Four is very small. One is pretty small. Two and three. Notice, area two, black points, end of story. Now, we don't know where the points are going to be. We might not end up getting any points there. But we're, we'll say profit instead of points. Black profit. Now, let's look at this one. Black profit, lack of white profit. This is times two, right? If I go here, he gets something too. So the right is points times one. The bottom is points times two. Hopefully that makes sense. We could also say this is a one purpose move and this is a two purpose move. That's perhaps a better way of saying it. They're both valid. Okay, if I do nothing, my corner's not sure yet. That bottom area is not sure yet. When I play here, all of these moves are easier for me because I have backup. So this black move helps my corner a lot. That's the point. Uh, some of you might think a bit funny about this move. Let's look at a few things. Let's say I try to grow it. Well, that's a little silly. You can just come in. It's just, it's, this is not territory. So here, it's still not territory, but I'm not claiming it as territory. It's almost like an in game situation, right? So it's better in my corner, not necessarily on the bottom. 
And if I play this way, well, there's still Aji in the corner. Lots of Aji there. So I clean up the Aji in the corner and help my M3 stone. And I want to do a Tawari here. Most of you know Tawari. Tawari is a wonderful and powerful tool. We change the order of the moves to see if they're efficient. So, black plays at A. White ignores. Black didn't play a particularly not big area. He mostly just almost made the corner all the way real. Not exactly all the way real, but really helped the corner. White ignores. Black plays here. Oh, that's a big threat. That's Sente. It seems to work out. So Tawari shows us not so bad. Okay, on with the game. I have Sente. Oh, he has Sente, sorry. He plays here. Get in the habit. What are the issues? The health of my A group, not remotely in question. The territory in area one, there's some territory there. What are the other issues? Remember my B group, it was fine. Now remember, he can take my corner away. So if I, let's just put it here, now that's my corner. Sente. He gets this for free. With my corner being invadable, I need to come back and fix it. And now he's doing whatever he wants to do. He's, you know, building his area. So I have a weakness here. That's the point. I have a weakness. So I play this way. Totally secures my weakness. So if he takes my corner, I could care less. I'm already alive. Attacks his stone, removes a running, running direction. So much better than just taking some corner profit. Two-purpose move versus a one-purpose move. I'm getting points this way, too. Comes in, stop it. Here, by far, the common position is to fix. But if he comes in, he can just live in my corner. Well, I don't like that. So, I go the unusual way. You don't see this a lot. Let's look at the result. He has to kill the stone. I get the whole corner, big corner. In Sente, what did he get? Well, I, that stone can run out. I'm not saying I want to run out, but this is not a strong formation for white. White got a weak group. Black is very happy with this. Okay. Onward. Oh, where to? Well, there's that one last thing I haven't finished. Is there something else going on? Nope. What if I start coming in? That's not a big area. We have an unfinished thing. I take it. And white plays here and then resigns. Black is just uh, 20 plus points ahead with a stronger position. So, more points, more position. Okay, I hope that was helpful, made some sense, and maybe even entertaining. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Catch you all later.